I'm going to show you a trick that can save you if you ever end up with something like this. You've got a website, it's being hosted somewhere, and either because of too much traffic or because the host is lousy or because they're just having a bad hiccup, you find your site offline and you don't like that. So there's a service called Cloudflare and they're primarily um, actually a security service that helps protect your site against bad folks, which is worthwhile in and of itself. It also improves performance. Um, there's all kinds of useful things. If you go and you go to cloudflare.com, you can see it. You can sign up. They have a free account, um, and the free account is excellent. Oh, it looks like when I do that, I go to the my website dashboard. But if you go to the web, cloudflare.com, you'll be able to see... Um, more about the plans but in any case signing up for the free account is good enough for what we're doing here so let me show you the problem with something like this is you have no control over the server that your site is on you know if it goes down you are pretty much um you're you're not going to be able to do anything to make it go back up if if it's a if it's an issue with the host um and so the temptation would be to switch to another host, but the problem that we've traditionally had is that when you switch to another host, it can take up to 48 hours for those changes to take place. So if you've got stuff for sale, you might be losing sales. If you've got, uh, you know, I mean, and plus it just plain looks unprofessional um, to have your site down. And so you don't want that to take any longer than absolutely necessary. So this trick will help you do it faster. Um, I need to say, before you can do this trick, you have to already be set up on Cloudflare. There's no reason not to set up on Cloudflare that I'm aware of. Um, so you'll just want to make sure that the website that you're looking at, you know, that any website that's important to you is listed here um, and you've got it set up. So once that's done and you can see, um, the the process of setting it up is it's not um, entirely trivial, but it's not too difficult as long as you know how to log into your um, domain name registrar, the place where you bought your domain name. If you need help with that, let me know, and I can totally um, give you a hand with that. And uh, it's pretty affordable because it doesn't take me very long. But what you're looking for is you you should have your name servers set to something at Cloudflare like this. Um, they'll give you specific ones when you sign up on Cloudflare. So as long as that's set up, then you're good to go. So here's what you do. You set up the new account at whatever host you want. I'm going to um, demo it here on my HostGator account. I've set it up as um, an add-on domain, and you'll see right here it's set up. You'll basically need to do anything that you need to do if you were moving the site normally. This, is, this isn't really a tutorial on how to move a site, it's how to make that site move happen immediately. So you'll just set it up. Um, I've uploaded some files, actually in this case I've just uploaded one test file to show you. And I've got it all ready to go on the new host. So then what you'll need to know is the host when you go to the new host, they'll give you some name servers. If you've got a host that uses cPanel like this, they're going to be probably right down near the bottom on the on the side, um, or they were in your welcome email. There's a bunch of different places you can find that. So you go to get your name servers, and then what you're going to want to do is there's a, a Unix command called dig that will let you know what these name servers have on record for your domain. So I'll show you an example for this domain. I'm going to type, I'm going to put in the domain name. I'm going to say I want the network address, the A, the A record. And I'm going to say this target DNS server, because right now it's using different DNS servers. It's pointing at a different um, host altogether. So I'm going to put in this to find out where HostGator is actually routing that traffic. Um, if this looks scary to you, don't panic. You're just going to look here under the answer section, and it will have your domain name. You can ignore pretty much everything else. It'll say your domain name and um, some other information. And this right here is what you want. This is called an IP address. You're going to copy that. And um, it can be helpful just to have like a, a document going that has some details here. Because um, you'll want to make sure that you're not overriding things that you can't put back if you want to. So then you'll go into... Cloudflare, you'll go to the DNS settings, and you'll see what's currently on file. Now, right now, this is the host that's having problems. 
but I'm still going to write it down because uh, if something were to go wrong in this process, it would be very unfortunate to not know what that was and not be able to set it back. Of course, I could do the same process of looking it up with the dig and that kind of thing, but it's easier just to save it while we have it. Okay, so I'm just going to save this, and I'm going to do it for every domain that points to that IP address, or for every record, I should say. In this case, this is a really simple record. Some of mine are a lot longer, um, but it's very straightforward in this case. So it's all saved, and it might take a second, but it's not going to be 48 hours. I can tell you that. Okay, let's see here. That's still not quite what we're looking for. Okay, and that's what we are looking for. The test worked, and we should be good to go. So instead of taking two days to switch over, it took a couple minutes.